I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on her channel. My name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to Achanda my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. I'm Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on Achanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Hello and a very good morning to you all. Have you got your cups of coffee and tea? Are you sat comfortably? Coffee. Don't move a muscle because we've got a wonderful hour ahead. I'm so pleased to say I'm working with Jill again from Festival of Japan. And in fact, I've got two shows with Jill today. Good morning, Jill. You're always my favourite. Aww. <laughs> And so are you mine. No, <laughs> we lie so well. 
Actually, I am not joking. I am so excited about this hour and the hour at 11 o'clock with Jill today as well. Wait until you see what we've got now. Let me just tell you something. We're going to see a few items, but we've got so much more. We've got, of course, the cotton rag papers for you, but we've got all sorts of sizes. So we're starting right here with a new today. This is your hardback paper book kit. Now look at this. Look at the size of it. 28 by 35 centimetres. Each page is 320 GSM. These are absolutely beautiful. And when you see what Jill has created on these papers, wow. We're all blown away here at the studio. Jill, tell me about these papers. They are absolutely wonderful to work on, aren't they? They are. It, it's the, I've gone to loads of different papers, loads of different brands, and I still go back to this one. It just... It, it soaks in the colour. If you look at the colours on the back, they're not enhanced. They're the real colours. It just soaks it in. It's just gorgeous to work with. Such wow. a lovely texture. And all of those have got different um, GSMs as well. Absolutely oh, beautiful. Like. 320 GSM. Look how many pages we've got in here as well. Do you know how many pages are actually in this I one? It's a chunky book. 32 in that one. In this one? Which is quite a sizeable book, yeah. Oh, now, I think, right, our information says 24 for the last one. Does it one, say 24? We, Do, yeah, don't ask me, I just sell Might them. be 32 on the next one. Do you know, we'll count that at some yeah, point. We'll verify it. that for you. <laughs> but just look, let me just turn it this way. Look how many you're getting, of course. Can you work on both sides of these, Jill? Yes, they're uh, slightly different on both sides, but yeah. you can work on both sides. So if you make a mistake on one side, you just flip it over. Fantastic. So what sort of mediums are we talking about? You can use colours, anything, watercolour, acrylics, uh, pens, pencils, uh, anything you want on those. It works with absolutely everything. Fabulous. Look at some of these pieces of art that Jill has created as well, using, of course, the cotton rag papers. It doesn't matter which size, you're going to get results like this. Just look at these. What did you use here then, Jill? Uh, all, all of my stuff's on water with watercolour. You can see the metallics in here as well. Oh, that is uh, just just a little pot of metallic paint. They are absolutely stunning. Jill, I've got to ask you, have Go you on, done all these freehand? All these yes. pieces we've got here? Yeah. You are so No, no, I'm not, I'm not a good artist. I'm, you are? I'm you, perseverant. We all beg to differ no, no, in I'm the studio here. So I will just play and play and play till I get it right. Oh, look. I'm moving this around simply because you have got that lovely metallic sheen in there as well. I am blown away with this. I am absolutely blown away. I wish I had the talent of to do this. Look at these colours. This is what you're going to achieve on these papers. If you want to go for this one, there is a freedom price as well, £30.56. pence. You've got an awful lot of paper to work with there as well, 246334. And remember, freedom members, that price has come down by a pound now, 597 per month. In fact, while we're talking about it, unlimited standard delivery, no contracts, exclusive discounts, a monthly newsletter and a member's badge as well. If you're purchasing two or more items a month, then it is well worth joining because you will make those savings. Right, okay, now the next one is already busy. It's the same, we've, we've got the same papers in here, but you've got your smaller book. Now this one, Jill, I believe there is 32 pages in this is that one. one. I think so this is the one. These are absolutely great for Christmas presents for people. Who paints, Lovely size to the work on, aren't they? they? Yeah, yeah. Not daunting for anybody who's not used this before. No. 13 centimetres by 16 centimetres is the size of this page. Now, there is a difference in GSM depending on the size we're going. This one is 210, so a really good weight. I've got to say, though, Jill, that feels thicker than that. They're really good, aren't when they? When it's smaller, it feels thicker, if that oh, makes yeah. any sense. I can see what you mean. But isn't, look at the texture again. Beautiful. So most Absolutely of the paper beautiful. that I've got is a rough texture, so it's cold press. Yeah. 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 You like that, don't you? you I know you said to I like me the before texture. the show yeah. that you've tried going, you know, to the smoother papers, but you always no. come back to these. L lovely. 10.99, busy on that one. 462.989 is the item number. Then we do have the cotton sheets, but without the hardback. So these are the loose sheets, a set of 10. Really good size as well, because you've got your 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres, or your 12 by 12s, whichever way you want to look at it. Great price on these. 10 of these. Of course, you can work on both sides. 320 GSM. Remember, watercolours, acrylics, your pencils. Look at the texture again, that cold press. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is Jill's go-to paper That's my favourite pack. Is it? All of, all of my pictures on the back are all done with that. 
Oh, do you know, we've got so many beautiful pieces of artwork around the studio. I've got some more here as well. Let me just show you. All hand done by Jill. We actually have a design that kit is. for people to do that on Hotchanda. Um, it comes with the, the designs, the outlines. Um, I'll oh, just wow. come up see if oh, we'll up to, on there. We'll have to find that. Do you know how bright some of these colours are as well, Jill? I mean, you've gone from oranges and reds. Oh, one of my favourites, actually, to show you now. It's hard to pick a favourite from Jill, but look at this. Isn't that stunning? Let me just flex this because the gold in there as well. Again, is that the watercolour? Just That's normal watercolour. It's not fancy watercolour, it's just normal watercolour. That just shows the quality of the yeah. papers, though. You can layer and layer and layer, and layer, and layer with it. Like that. Yeah. Let me just turn that around as well. Look at the back. This is how good this paper is. You can see how vivid those colours oh, are. There's no leaching. No. Turn it around. Can't see a thing. Nothing. No, it's super Fantastic. thick. £22.99 for these. You also get a drawing pen with this one. That's right at the front if I just show you. So there you are. You get that included as well. 227483 is the item number and a nice fine nib on there as well. I'm going to be using that one in the demo, the pen. Lovely. So I'll show you how that works. Can't wait for demos, I've got to be honest. Right, we've got more to show you though. Um, now the next one... This is a really, really good size. This is your long. So let me have a look at the sizes here. This is 16 by... Oh, you can't see the rest of it there. 20 by 50. Oh, it is there. 20 by 51. I like the fact it says how many on this one. 16. That's how many we've got. <laughs> Double-sided, of course. You can work on both sides again. Jill, you, I know you like the long ones as well, don't you? These are a really nice size to work with. I do. That, if you're doing mass card making as well, I'm going to turn that one into four greetings cards. Look at this. This is just stunning. Yes, you could cut that down, you know, paint on one piece and then cut it down into sections and use it. Do you know, again, I'm going to hold this horizontally, but that would work beautifully vertically, of course. Let's just show it that way first. Or that way. These were all for the exhibition that never happened this year, but it oh, will happen, ne it'll happen next year, so I'm all that prepared. You've done. Oh, jeez. These are... Look at that. Now, this is going very, very quickly. £19.49 is the price on this one. 670772. Brand new today again. Look at these. These My are stuff always looks gorgeous. much nicer from here. <laughs> <laughs> Jill, stop putting yourself down. Look at those little snowdrops. Do you know a favourite of many people's snowdrops, aren't they? There we are, 670772. And I'm hearing this one is actually limited stock already. Don't miss out. Please, please don't miss out. We've got lots of different sizes for you. There's more to see, but we do want to get to demonstration as well. Let's hop over to the website first of all. That's where you're going to find everything, of course. I still have got a number of items I've not been down the counter to show you. It's all the same paper, different GSMs, different sizes, so there's plenty to look at, plenty to choose from. We're at limited stock on one item already, so please do be quick with these. Um, Jill is back at 11, but it's a different focus to the show. We've got fabrics coming up at 11, so make sure you don't miss out during this hour. Now, we will be getting to Jill in a second because, of course, we do want to see. We know how talent she is, but we want to see her at work, don't we? Jill, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Absolutely. I am watching closely. Absolutely ready. It's such a shame that we can't sit and paint together because I used to I like know, it when we do demos that together. That would have been lovely. Um, what I'd like to show people is the paper that we've got, um, it's so easy to make greetings cards out of because a lot of people think, well, I don't want things for the wall. Yeah. But it does make the most amazing greetings cards. One thing I will say about the, this paper here, the, the squares that I prefer to work on, if you actually tear those into four pieces and just tear it yeah that's the beauty of this because you want that deckle edge on it you want to yes. maintain that yeah. edge on it and then if you split that over into three like that and like that you're actually going to get 60 postcard sizes out of one out sheet. of that one pack of paper and that is the most fabulous size to work on. Do you know, that is a really good idea. So it's really cost effective. Yeah, and again, if anybody is a little bit daunted or they're practising or they just wanted to try out something that they see Jill doing as well, to think you're going to get six pieces, you know, just to practise your techniques on, try your different colours out as well. And again, you can turn well. it over. Yeah, if it's not right, you can yeah, turn so it over. Yeah, so instead of six, you've got 12 sides, haven't yeah. you? Um, I'm also going to show you, if you make a mistake, I've got one here. Um, I made a big mistake on this piece of work. It was, it just wasn't right. 
and you can just over paint it again and again and again amazing and that you can't you can hardly see where I've you know where I've been on this. You would so you never have known that you've you can just keep using it and using it. Jill, we've had a sellout already on the long book. The long ones, yeah. Have long gone. book always the long goes. Ones have gone. Long this book one's first. Gone. There's plenty more to choose from, though. If you've missed out on that one, please have a look at everything else. In fact, we have got um, a large one, 32 centimeters by 51 centimeters, right next to me as well. If I take one of those large ones, I don't know. I have to take the whole book actually and put that there. You see, you could actually split that down into two, a little bit narrower, but you could split that into two and get your long pages again, couldn't you, Jill? Yep, no, I've got all good sizes. It's just whatever GSM you like as well. Yeah. Some people like heavier, some people like lighter. So it's completely up to you. Wonderful. I okay. did um, uh, a demonstration for this month's newsletter that went out to people, and it's this, it's this uh, card, but we're going to do it slightly different to show people again how to do it, because I think like real time is is always better so we're going to do it on here so i've got um the long sheet what i want to do is make probably four or five greetings cards out of this okay i'm just going to just make sure everybody knows at home the size you're working on jill is the one that's sold out oh joe uh, actually well the, joe if you've got another one to hand that's fine but if not the techniques will be the same regardless of the size just so that nobody's confused the one that jill has got in front of her now is the one that's just sold out what i'm going to do then are you switching i'm oh, going to switch star, jill. so i'm going to do this one here okay and what i'm going to do i'm going to fold it in half that way and then we get basically the same okay. the same sort of yeah. size that we were working on if you find it's hard to tear just put you put a nick in the top first and then tear it down because it's such strong paper i like when i'm doing greetings cards because i now know how to do greetings cards i am i have more idea than i had last time i've got my cutting machines that i use now right into it now um, it's my design team have sort of inspired me to have yeah. a go oh. i have decided i like to put the sentiments on first because if I make a mistake with the painting, then at least my sentiments are already on there. Okay. So I would uh, either stamp or print sentiments on here first. If you're putting the sentiments on, what you need to get is just get another sheet of paper. I'll just quickly cut this lovely piece of watercolour paper up. Oh, we've got the watercolour on as well. We nice. have. It's nice paper, this one. People like, some people like to do on... You know, on the smooth paper, it's just not for me. Um, I do like the like I like the rough stuff. Don't quote me on that. Right. So, if you put your sentiment on, put a piece of paper over the top, and then just simply put your masking tape over okay, the top. Okay. Yeah. Um, I use this yellow tape because it really is nice and easy to get off. Another thing that's great about this paper off is sometimes the masking tape will stick to the paper. Okay. If you pull it off and it's stuck, this paper is so nice, you literally just rub it with your finger and it'll oh. go back to smooth again so you don't have any bubbles oh, on it. that's a nice tip. It's clever paper. So we're just going to stick it down like that. In okay. the, um, the pack with this size, you get this pen. It's a 0.7 nib, so it's a really nice fine one. And so anybody who knows me knows if it hasn't got drawn lines on with a pen, it's not my work. So preparation is just laying it down onto your board. And all we're going to do to start off is just put some straight lines on like this. Now, this is why you don't need to be able to draw to do it. Oh. oh, yes, I'm sure everybody could do that. Just to let everybody know at home, the paper that Jill's working on at the moment is the 12 by 12. You do get the pen as well. Jill's just torn that in half. The watercolour that was mentioned, we haven't actually got activated at the moment on the website, but all of the cotton rag we have, later on that will be sorted out, I'm sure. Uh, but any of the cotton rags, apart from the one that we did sell out of the longer one, is available. Straight lines. Nobody can nobody can go wrong with that. So we've got this lovely border, which is going to give us a lovely sharp, crisp line across the middle when we take this uh, masking tape off. Okay. Next, we're going to do a really simple holly shape. So we're going to spread them about. Now remember, we're going to cut this into. This will probably go into three smaller cards. Okay. Yeah. I like things that pop out of the frame. If you 
if you're wanting to do this and you want everything inside your frame, then maybe split it up into three like this and do them separately. But I'm fast and furious. I like things done, like lots of them done in one go. Okay, yeah. I and haven't had a coffee yet this morning, you know. Haven't you? No. Oh, Jill. I know. We'll keep you awake, don't we? I know. I got a lovely upgrade in my hotel this morning, yesterday. Four poster bed, roll top <gasps> bath. Got in last lucky. night. That's a bit of luxury. Well, I know, but got in last night, went to bed, woke up this morning, come out, never used any of them except oh. the bed. <laughs> but it was a lovely thought. Oh. <laughs> so we're going to put um, some random holly leaves on. And you can see holly leaves don't necessarily look like this. It's school holly leaves. So do some big ones and some small I'm ones. I'm sure everybody can achieve what you've shown us. Yeah, so just wiggly there. lines like this. Now this pen is lovely. It's um, jet black, but it's a 0.7 nib, so you yeah. get a really fine line with it. And that's one of the, uh, it, in fact, it's the only pen that I ever used for this. You can see it's um, a great pen on the paper there. Yeah, you would think with that being so rough, it wouldn't work very well on that paper, but it does. It works yeah, you absolutely beautifully. Right, once we've got these lines here, so these are going to be our pine leaves. Okay. Pine, yeah. pine needles. We've got holly. We're going to put berries on later. But what I want you to do now is just put... Right, so that's not hard, is it? It's not. No, so we're going to do that all the way across. I think there's going to be a lot of people doing this today, Jill. What if anybody you... wants to make this card and send me it, I'd be very happy. <laughs> oh, you know, I have I'm, a, oh, as I've I'm got... watching you as well, Jill, I'm just going back to the larger size of the cotton rag as well. I know a lot of people like to make the little concertina journals and things. That's a great one again oh, to split great it for down this. into narrow yeah. pieces and concertina it as well. You're going to get an awful lot for your money if you do that, you know. It's seriously, you work it out. seriously good paper, this, for the price. And this is all I can get for now. This is my stock until probably next year now. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Yes, at the top, once it's gone, it's gone, everybody. It is. At the top of the pine, you normally get a little squiggly bit. Yeah. That's the new growth, so I put that in. Okay. So you can see where we're going with this, really easy. Doesn't matter what watercolours you've got, if you've got, you know, cheap and cheerful or the best, it's going to work on this paper. I've just bought some brush markers. Oh, it works lovely on this. Uh, I think the one of the pictures you've got there, the water lilies, the pink, bright pink one. Was that on the 12 by 12? Yeah, 12, I think uh, it's I the long, long, so it's, oh, it's a long uh, 51 by 20. See if I can that find one? Is the that one. Oh, I can find yeah. the one you're doing now. Yeah, <laughs> there, that one. That one. Um, oh, the pink yes. is done with pens. Is it? Yeah, what watercolour pens. For mine to arrive. Yeah. So all your markers nice will work as well. Okay, it's there. really forgiving. I think that's the the beauty of it. You can't scrub at it, so you you can't sort of you know scrub and scrub and scrub. It will eventually the surface will change. Um, so if you're taking paint off, then a tissue, blot it off, and I'll show you the mistakes later on, so you can fix them. And puppy pads are the best thing. Are they? Yeah, puppy pads for drying your brush. Do you know, I've never heard anybody say that before. Oh, oh that's, they're great. That's um, a good tip as well. Also on your table, because it soaks up anything you spill. Great, great things. I've got five cats, three of which use puppy pads. <laughs> I've got puppy pads at home because I've got four doggies. <laughs> Not that they're puppies anymore, but you never know. You no, know, you sometimes never know. you just have to. Yeah. So I'm just going to take the top bit, and then later on, when you're sort of recapping and things, I'll fill in the bottom, if okay. that's all right. Oh, we've got another limited stock, you know, Jill. What's that? Guess which one? Guess the which one? little book. The little, little book. Hardback. You are right. Limited stock on this one now. Please don't miss out. When they're gone, they're gone. If you like the books as well, and this does go, remember, you have got other options. You can make your own books as well, make your own covers. If you want a hardback. Jill, I know you do put refills in your hardbacks in the, yeah, as well, in the, don't you? I mean, the hardback is such a nice hardback. It's such a nice casing. Um, I made a notebook set out of one of them. Um, I just glue in some other paper. Yeah. Uh, or you can just, you know, stick it in however you want. But the, the hardback is such a good one, it's, you couldn't throw it away. It's too well, nice. whoever's got it, well done, because it's just sold out. 
be. That's another sellout. That one's got to go, I'm afraid. Jill, the one you're working with, just to remind everybody at home, is the 12 by 12, and you split that into two. The loose sheets, yeah. So yep. I've just split that in half. As well. I'm going to get three cards out of that. So you can see I've got the, the design, and okay. that is the design. Yeah. That's it. So that's all the pen work done. Once you've done both top and bottom of that, top and bottom, that's, that's your pen done. work done. Right, um, this okay. one here that we did, Aww. you can see exactly the same pen lines. But what I did to do that one, I made myself a little template out of um, masking tape. Yeah. Just a round template. I put that one in the middle. Yeah. Well, actually, this one was done with a bigger template. We'll go up for the right one. So that was. I'm just going to pull that off. I know that's sacrilege, but. It'll be a lot easier for people to see. So to start off with that one, that was the template that I used. Yeah. I did the outside edge. Okay. Painted all of that. And then I just worked on the inside edge to create the depth in the, the wreath. And there's no more pen lines on that. There's, there's more pen lines, but they're not, they're not any different to the one that we're doing. Um, and these, because they're just made from masking tape, you just put that back in your book. Yeah, and, and you can use them again and again and again. Yeah. Shouldn't it's show you so that. That's my mother-in-law's Christmas card. Don't look, oh. Christine. <laughs> Don't look, mother. I think there might be a few people getting Christmas cards like this once I've <laughs> finished watching your technique. Right, so we've got that. We're okay. going to use three different greens. Yeah. When you're using watercolour paints, it's really important to, to bring them to life about ten minutes before you're going to use them. Right. Otherwise, you're going to get thick, chalky, chalky paints. So, so just spritz with water. Just spritz. Is all you give do. them a good spritz. Um, same with the metallics. Give them a good spritz. When I'm transferring um, over to my palette, I haven't got one with me. I usually use um, a pipette to take the water over, because there's nothing worse than getting a lovely colour, washing it out in here, all that paint's wasted. Do you know, again, that's a really good tip. It's something I've not thought about So before. instead of getting the water with your brush, get the water yeah. with the pipette. Great tip. Another thing I do, and I haven't got it with me, is if I was um, going to be using lots of paint just to test the colours, I would always just squiggle onto another piece of card. Because okay. you know that design you've got with the metallic back? Yes. That's perfect for this design. So if you're testing your colours, test them out on something you're going to use. Okay. And this eventually will turn that into a greetings card. That Nothing is, gets worse. This is the wasted. one you're talking about, Jill, isn't it? If I show yes, it. That's yes, that's the one. Look at this. Yes. This is what Jill's talking about. So testing your colours, you can turn it into something like this. That is just amazing. Again, those metallics in there as well. It's lovely. In the that colour is gorgeous. That, that green and really purple. Really look it? beautiful. Uh, um, what I did clever. with that is that design, I had some scraps left over from some work that I did. So I actually cut them out and they cut out because it's thick. It yeah. cuts out beautifully. I've got a cutting machine now that I can use. <laughs> all, my, all my friends are going, yeah, she uses it. Oh. Um, and I just resined over the top. They are amazing. Um, and it really brings out, and that's those pen that. lines that I'm talking about. Love my pen it. lines using that... Um, that little pen there. Jill, the effects are absolutely beautiful. And the resin, as well, you told me earlier that was jewellery resin, so we do just have yeah. the resins here on the show. The Elechem one, the one that we see on the Zero Absolutely, shows, just, just your normal resin. resin. And it resins beautifully, that paper, because it's got enough body I've got to, to try it. That. I think so that that's um, little uh, baubles for, to go on Christmas cards. Okay. Oh, Jill, you are so, so talented. Right. Just before we let you get back with the painting, can yes. we just go down the rest Sorry. of the counter to show you the sizes? You can. I'm just going to set my paint up. Simply because we've had a couple of sellouts, so, you know, we have got other options as well. So, we still have stock. Oops, the little hardback book has gone, but we've still got this one for you. Oh, how many pages? Was it 24 pages in this one? 24 pages in this one, 28 by 35 centimetres. This is a really good weight. This is 320 GSM. And remember, you can paint on both sides. I'm just going to show you again very quickly. If you look at this wonderful piece of art that Jill's created there with watercolours, you can see how strong those colours are. Look, there's nothing come through. So you can work on both sides of this. Cut these pages down if you like. But the fact you've got that hard cover and you can decorate that as well if you like. And a freedom price on this one, £30.56, 246334.
Then the one that Jill's currently using, and we will get back to Jill in a little while, but this is really good because you've got your 12 by 12s or your 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres and the drawing pen as well, the one that Jill uses. You can tear this down. You can make that whatever size you want. So again, it's a great size to work with. Tearing it into four, you've got your six by sixes. Into six, you've got those postcards as well. It's entirely up to you. The next one, oh, we are busy on this one, by the way. Let me just... Uh, just while, do you know, I've got ones I haven't shown you here. I'm just going to bring in another wonderful picture for you there as well. Let's have a really good look at this. Then you can see the texture, because they are 100% cotton, of course. This is Jill's go-to. Jill did say before the show, when we had our little meeting, she said, you know, I keep going and trying different papers, but I always come back to this. And again, you can see there, there is no bleed through to the other side at all. Amazing stuff. It really is quality. Absolutely love what I'm seeing here. I can't, you know, if I could show you more samples, I will, because there's so many. Now, the extra large, I love this one. Oh, this is limited as well now. Oh, 26.45 for this one. Do you know, I would be going for this one now. I would... If, I was saying earlier, do you know, I think the long ones appeal to me, but this one, because the fact that you can split that in half, so you've got the length, if you want to go for that longer version, again, you can split maybe into three, make your concertina books as well, put your own covers on there, make your own journals, look at the texture again, this is quality stuff, £26.45 and pence is the price, I'm just going to bring in another picture just to show you how Jill's used this, at this size, look at this, 622733 is the item number on this one, I love Jill, how you've done those little individual pictures there. That, they frame up really nicely, those. Aren't they lovely? Yeah. Um, can you see that's the same design as the one you used before? Oh, my square yes. paper. If I bring that in, that's, that's a 12 by 12. That's one of our design kit pictures that you can use. Wow. Um, if the design kits aren't up there, if I haven't got any stock left, I've got stock I can put up. Oh, we'll, we will sort that. We'll find that on the website. I've just got to bring this one in again. This is like that little one. Look at that. Jill, this is the one that's similar to the one that you said, practice, test your colours, yeah. and then build up that background. You could achieve this. Oh, no, we've had another sellout, Jill. This one's think, gone I now. I think we've still got the uh, demo for that on YouTube as well. That really? We for that. Do look out yeah. for that. That's another sellout on that one. Right, now then, if you want to do your greeting cards, we've got some ready-made ones. A set of five. So you've got your ready-to-go greeting cards there. You've got the envelopes as well. These are handmade as well. Jill, you can decorate these just the same, can't you? Paint on the envelopes Anything as well. Anything you want, yeah. Um, again, if you don't want to use them as cards, split them and use them for something else. Of course. Or well, you could attach these together, maybe with some um, washi tape or something, and make concertina books again. Yeah, a handmade card, they come out every single year. Do they? Yeah, if you send me a normal card, I'm sorry, but it's not making, it's not, it's not cutting it. Oh, no, so if my... you sent me a handmade card, even if it was Christmas, it would be out all year round. It wouldn't oh. go away. Seriously, 466054 is the item number if you want to go for this particular bundle. We still keep going, though. We've still got more for you. The next one, oh, we've had another sell. This one's gone, and we've not even talked about it. You've found this one. You can see that little book. Right, OK, I'm going to lay that down because that's gone. Uh, this one, this is nice. Look at this one. Now, Jill, I know you've got something painted onto this lovely sort of yeah, bluey um, grey as well. A lot of people were saying, well, what's the point of the blue? But if you actually paint onto the blue, like so, can you see that in there? You can actually oh, paint beautiful. onto the blue and it does work. That is, again, that is just so effective. That's isn't the Christmas it? tree I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to paint. Oh, we need to get to the next for that bit. then. This one, yep. if you want it, $14.99. It is a little book for you, no cover on it, but it is an actual book. 196327 is the item number. Very similar, but a different size for you. This one here, that, that, is that gone as well? You are shopping ahead. That's what you're doing. Right, that one's gone. Can't show you that one. Just going to put that back for now, but it has gone. And then finally on the counter, we've got these for you as well, which are really, really sweet. Oh, they're, they're new. We've just started doing those. Uh, we've got some more coming out. They're all traditional Japanese pictures. Uh, they look like stamps, and they're just they're stickers. They're, they're really useful to put on with your cards and things. The stamps, actually, they do have the postmarks and things that on, is. so they're quite cute. And there's a lot of floral ones in there as well, which are great for copying. 
Oh, do you know, we're trying to find the details for these, but we'll uh, we'll sort that out and we'll see if we can find the details for I that for you. I wasn't even supposed to be bringing those today. They weren't weren't you? No, they, they were supposed to be going on the next show, next next month. Ah. But for some reason, I, I not you, I added them so to the So we may not have the details on the website for um, those? Or? I think they, they might be on the website because okay. I sent them down, but okay. they weren't really supposed to be because it's not really relevant to what I'm doing, but they okay. are cute. Right, well what is relevant is what Joel's doing right now. Right, so, so we're can gonna get you that see Jill. now, I've started to put some colours on there. So we're getting in. I've just got three greens, three different greens in my palette. I'll just bring my palette over so you can see it. Put that there. Now don't forget, Jill is... Now, Just that's the 12 by 12, isn't it, with the pens? That pen, yeah, this is the one I'm using, 12 yeah. by 12. And I've just cut it in half. And like I say, I'm going to make probably three or two or three greetings cards out of this. The thing with painting and watercolour is you want to try and go the way that your hand goes naturally. OK. When you put the brush down, you're going to get a thicker line. When you take the brush off, you're going to get a thinner line. Yeah. Doing that on this can be quite cumbersome for people going upwards. If you feel it's easier, turn your paper around and come downwards. That makes Don't sense. forget your paper to... It's a lot of daft things that my students used to forget, that you can actually move the paper yeah. as well. It's the same when you're stamping or doing anything. People yeah, do just forget move your paper move around. around. Can you also see that I'm not necessarily going on the lines? Which makes it even better. I'm not actually trying to hit every single pen line that I'm putting on there. I'm just going over the top of it, and your eye will make that into a pine frond. What's the word for a pine leaf stem? Oh, I don't it's know. It's a pine leaf, I suppose. So it will just fill it in for you. Yeah, so you can see we're filling needle. it in. It's just a pine needle. So, is it uh, it's just a pine? No, is needle not just the, the, single, the single bit? I don't know. So we're going to... Go in like that. So we've done a few. I'm going to do some holly leaves now. You see how fast that's built up already? You can see how it's going to build beautifully. Really, really and fast. We haven't, I know you're going to put berries in a little bit. Oh, while, yeah, we yeah. have to have berries. I, I think this is a technique that absolutely everybody can have a go at and achieve. Right from kids upwards. Yeah. Um, they can draw their own. It, it's sort of, sort of six-year-old upwards can do this. Yeah. When we come to the holly, again, we're not trying you know 100% to get it inside the line sometimes it's nicer if it just pops out so we'll have a little bit of yellow in there as well the consistency of paint for this makes a difference as well if we talk about consistency of paint we sort of talk about milk cream and butter for the different <laughs> yeah. different consistencies so mine is thin cream okay yeah and that gives you makes a sense. really good um, sort of spread of colour. If you're putting it onto this paper and you're finding you're having to drag it, you've not got enough paint on your brush because this soaks up so much paint, it's incredible. So if, you, if you're sort of dragging it, you just top up your paint again. Yeah. And again, Jill, if you've got the brush markers, the watercolour brush markers, straight to the paper to do this Stri technique, straight no Straight to the paper, all. get the water on top, spread it about. Absolutely. We had some great pens on last week and also this week as well with the Eco line and also oh, we had the those. Karen pens as well. Yeah. I did buy. Did you? I You're both. terrible, aren't you? I know. I I don't, you don't go home with any wages, do you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why they hired you? Because <laughs> they don't Probably. have to pay you. <laughs> Probably. Oh it's, oh, it's awful, Jill. I no, tell it's myself not. It's every good. morning it's I'm going to behave about. and then I go home and think, oh. No, it's what life's all about. So if I'm going to put a colour on here, just to show you, you can, it works the same as absolutely the same as normal watercolour paper. You can just go in, spread it around. I can probably do these cards in about sort of 15 minutes once you get going with it. Do you know, I watch guests here at Achanda Jill and I see really lovely things and I think that's going to be my Christmas card this year and every day there's somebody else comes in and think, oh actually I might do that one. Now it's not no different today, I'm watching this and I'm thinking, Ooh, they'd be good. I'd really like to do this as my Christmas card this year. It's really fast. So oh. I'm going to fill that in. Oh, Pauline's emailed in. We've got it Jill, the pine cone bit, it's oh, a sprig. Of course sprig. it is. sprig. Well of done Pauline. It is. Oh, it's early, Pauline. I'm glad somebody's on the ball. 
Thank it's, you for that. It's one of those things that you just you have to know the answer. Yes. Have I told you my, my story about waking up in the middle of the night to try and remember somebody's name? No. And I couldn't remember the Speaker of the House of Commons. Oh, right. So I okay. woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning and screamed, Betty Booth, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. Uh, I know. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I had a suite delivered this week to my house and I had been looking at a chair online and I thought, oh, it's lovely, I might order that. But I didn't order it. And the, the delivery driver arrived with this chair. He said, you know, Mrs. Clear, my address. So I said, yeah. And I thought, have I ordered that chair in my sleep? <laughs> so he, he, you know, he gets it out. He brings it in the house. And as it's coming in, it's grey and my furniture's all like, like tan leather. Yeah. And I went, it's not mine. Thank heavens I didn't order it. And he looked at me like I was puddled. Because in my head, I, I couldn't remember if I'd ordered it or not. Oh. Do you know, there's no hope, is there? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, dear. Right, so you can see how we've got pine leaves in there now. No sprigs. And we've got I'm some... I'm really asking the gallery, did you keep the chair or did it go back? No, it went back. It was oh. grey. It, it, <laughs> it, it didn't fit in. <laughs> the best thing was, as I was going out to see the man, I fell over... Oh, Jill. So if that can... comes up on, on dash cam and he's got that on the telly, <laughs> there's going to be serious trouble. But you know oh. those things where you stand up before you've hit the ground? Yeah. I managed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, it, was a great, it was a great day. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've had a funny old week. I think it's because my husband's been at home and he's been annoying. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I also have a drawer next to my washing machine that I've constantly tried this week to fill with fabric conditioner. Oh. So I tried to pull the washing machine dry and try, yeah. <laughs> so I think it's lack of oh. coffee. I think that's what it is. But Surely... I'm home for Christmas this year, which is unusual. Oh, that's good. Instead of being away in Japan till about the 12th of December, I'm actually at home this year. So my tree's going up next week. This is building beautifully. There you go. Now, what you can do, if you think it's not thick enough at this stage, you can go in and add more pine leaves. But you can see how okay. those few lines, and your brain is telling you now, that's a big sprig of leaves. So, filling that in. That's, that's quite quick, oh, isn't Jill, it? that is really coming together. You can add more into I that. I wait for you to put the berries in. Do you want me to put the berries on now? Can you? Yeah, I'll put the berries on now, and then I can put some yes, more. Yes, please. Um, Put some more bits on this. So I'm just mixing in a little bit of my metallic. Oh, look at that colour. That's just amazing. So I've just got a metallic orange and I'm just mixing that into oh, the nice. red so we get a really bright, sparkly red. It dries quite quickly as well, this paint. So it's dry. It's dry already. Okay. Obviously, we're going to put berries. Oh, I haven't put. I, I can't put berries. I haven't put my branches on yet. Oh. Catherine, I can't. Wait a minute. Got to oh. put my branches on. Oh no. I've lost my pen. There you go. So we're going to put some slightly darker lines in there. Okay. Like so. I'll just do two and then we can come back to that. Oh, Mr. Baker in the gallery would like to see mistletoe. Mistletoe? Would he? Ooh, oh. Yes. You could though, couldn't you? When you, could, you feel a little bit more confident, then you can start adding other things in as well. Mistletoe is a simple long round leaf with a yeah. white berry. So you can yeah. add anything into this. We're going to just paint in some little stems for You the... see, now that's got me thinking, Jill. You see, I would start doing exactly what you're doing. And feel confident about it. And then I would start playing with other things like blackberries. Oh, the, yeah, acorns. you can make it yeah, right throughout you could do the year. all seasons, couldn't all, you? All through. I'm going to let that bit dry because that's quite thick, and I'm going to put you some berries up this top end. So we've got our lovely creamy paint. So we're still at single cream. Yeah. You get a nice big brush full. When we put these on, we're going to try and leave that little highlight. Because if you leave the highlight on now, it means you don't have to paint it on later with a pen. That's a good can tip. You see the little highlight? Yeah. So we shall see it in a sec, Jill. Spread Coming them about. nice and close so we can see what you're doing there. There we go. Yes, that makes sense. You see, everybody can do this, can't they? Anybody can do this. It's probably one of the most simple cards you could probably imagine. 
But it's Christmas colours, it's effective. You've got the red and the green, you know, everybody loves red and green. Go. So when we come to these ones here, I would normally let that dry a little bit, but I'll just be careful and put them in. Okay. You can do this while drinking coffee and watching TV. You could, couldn't you? And I can see where you've gone over the masking tape a little bit, so when you do the reveal, you've got kind of the, that part buried there, which gives you a lovely straight line. finish. I'm not going to say too much, because I can see a finish one in front of me, and it looks amazing. Because the reveal, when we do that on screen, is kind of the wow moment. But can you see why I like to put the sentiment on first? Yeah. And then, if I muck the sentiment up, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But if I've done this and then I, the sentiment isn't right, then I've got to start tearing bits out and sticking bits on. So I like to do sentiments first. Amazing. Oh, Jill, can we have a little pause and a bit of a recap? Just you let can't... everybody know because we've had so many sellouts as well, just so we know what's available for everybody. Just a reminder, the one that Jill is using, you can see it's been torn down. You can tear this down to whatever size you want and do tear it and then you get that deck ledge. Beautiful. 12 by 12 if you want to go for inches or convert that it's 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters you do get that pen there as well amazing i'm not going to show you jill's finished piece that she's doing now because i want to uh, to see the reveal but just a reminder again let me find a different one that i didn't show you earlier look at this the hydrangea beautiful again whatever colors you put on here you know your watercolors your acrylics use your pencils your different pencils i'm just going to spin that round again just to show you how nothing's come through to the other side this paper is incredible to work and you can see that with what jill's doing right now 22 pounds and 99 pence getting 10 of those sheets 227483 remember when the stock has gone it's gone jill can't get any more till next year we've had so many sellouts already moving down we've got the greeting card pack for you so these are ready to go but if you want to join these together or tear them apart and make different sizes again you can do make use of the envelopes because these are handmade as well so you can paint onto those do your designs how lovely to receive a card in a hand painted envelope as well that would be beautiful nine pounds and 99 pence you're getting five of each four six six zero five four then we do have this book for you as well this is a lovely one this is bound there's no hard cover but it is a book 30 pages in here and jill hopefully she's going to show us how she can paint under this one as well you can go onto this page as well that sort of bluey gray it's beautiful isn't it limited stock on this one the size is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters you've got 30 pages 14.99196327 and then next to that we've got this one as well uh, we do still have stock of this one 16 15 by 15 was it that yes 15 by 15 so that's basically that's a six by six card the same sort of size but you've got that beautiful deco edge there 30 pages again again it is a book so it's bound it's bound you can make your own cover if you want to make a cover for that and keep it as a book or tear those pages 462555 is the item number and then we i think we found the details for those stickers now so let's have a look at those Lovely little boxes coming as well. You've got all sorts of beautiful little stickers. The florals, these are kind of like the postage stamps as well. They are beautiful, aren't they? There they are. You've got 80 in total. 614957 is the item number. There we are. So still things to look at, but remember, I've got to keep telling you, when they're gone, they're gone. We, ha we are having sellouts. You know, we've had them from early on in the show as well. Um, it doesn't matter which size you're going for, the paper and the quality is absolutely amazing. So anything you see Jill doing, you can achieve onto that particular size. Right, Jill, how are you getting on? We're getting there. We've Fabulous. got one side nearly done. These look lovely if you do them in sort of lilacs and greens. You know, oh. don't just think Christmas colours. You can change the colours up as well with these right so we got berries on there we've got leaves on there I've added a few more twigs in the back make them as thick or as thin as you want are we going to reveal just the half and uh, rather than me for painting the other side what okay you do? yeah well I've got, I've got one that you did earlier as well so yeah. I can show that but it's lovely to see that reveal live yeah it's nice to pe it's nice to peel the tape off I know I can't wait so I'm gonna peel this tape off see gorgeous oh, straight line oh Jill it is so effective so if I was just to fold that over there actually it's really nice to see where you began and where you've got up yeah. to as well to see the two different halves there, we there. Go. 
how easy that. is that? You, uh, on the one that I do, uh, I've done here for mother-in-law, I've put some um, gold berries on it as well. Do you know, you could do any shape. If you wanted to make a square oh, mask heart. as I well, so you could create that as a, a, a really frame of heart. Yeah. Yeah. If you're doing them in different colours, they frame beautifully as well for your yes. kitchen. Ooh. So that, that took, what, sort of six minutes all told, if you sit and get to it? Yeah, because we get interrupting you, to be quite fair, to give stock updates and things oh, like listen. that. There you are. This is the one. Now, this particular size we've sold out of. We have got, um, we have got, of course, the one Jill's just been using and working on as well. But Jill did say to me she would split this down, so create lots of different cards from that one piece. So you can do a full piece of artwork on a large piece, then break it down however you want there, and then use those sentiments in the centre individually. I love the idea of doing those in alternate colours as well. It doesn't have to be the green and the red, but doesn't that look amazing? Jill, thank you so, so much for that. I'm Pleasure. really, really inspired. Now, the size that Jill was using, details on the screen for you, the 12 by 12s are the 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres. With that pen, that is the same pen as Jill uses all of the time. Really good quality pen with that great nib on there. 227483, just 2299. You're getting 10 sheets, but remember, you can work on both sides of these sheets. You can tear these down to whatever size that you want. Do you know the quality? Again, I'm going to show you once again. I'm going to, I, I want to keep picking this one up because I think simply because of how vivid the colours are. Look, the bright red, the dark background there. You've got metallic paints on there as well. But look, turn it around, you can see absolutely nothing. 320 GSM is the weight for this particular one. We've got different weights across the board, but all of them, absolute superb quality. Right, okay, now the next one. The hardback book. Now, we sold out of the smaller version, but you can go for this. Love the fact that you can decorate that hardback book as well. You can decorate the front and the back if you like. Those pages in here, I think this is 24, yes, 24 pages. Look at the size of these, 28 centimetres by 35 centimetres. Again, 320 GSM. Really good size and a freedom price on that one as well. £30.56 and pence for freedom members. That's delivered 246334. There we are. Right, Jill. We've got about six minutes left. I just want to really quickly? quickly show people how to make this little Christmas tree. Oh, wonderful. It's such a cute little Christmas tree. So we're going to do something that looks like that one. Can you see that one there? There we go. Lovely. Really, really fast. Really, really easy. And that's what all these little Christmas cards have been made with. Um, it's really important as well, you know, that you, you soak your brush for a little bit first. Is it? To, to get your, your water into, so, your, yeah. into your bristles. You know, I've never thought of that. I've never heard anybody say that before. I either. use, um, I'm a vegetarian, so I, I use um, synthetic brushes. Yeah. But it uh, doesn't matter what you do, just, just get just that, that brush nice, you know, and, I remember that. nice and damp first. But don't leave it in the water, because my students used to get charged 50 pence every time they left it in the water. Yeah, because it does spoil the bristles. Spoils your brushes. What I want to show you is just really that little Christmas tree really fast. Are you going to come in? with your paint and you're just going to do a random completely the wrong brush I've got a soft brush but it'll work I tend to like a stiffer brush as well it's just you know preference really oh, that's interesting yeah because I would have thought you'd go for something nice and soft no nice and nice and stiff and pointy so we're going to fill that in you, you'll be amazed at how fast this is you're going to fill it in like that. And can you see how much paint we've got on there? It's yeah. sort of sitting on the surface. Yeah. What you're then going to do with it is you're going to put more paint on there. So I might do a little bit of a lighter colour. I can't believe how fast that hour's gone. I know. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right around the edge this time. Okay. So I'm actually loading paint around the edge. I don't want it to look like it's got a hard line round, so every now and again, just change up the colour. Yeah. And all you're going to do with that to get that Christmas tree, simplest, uh, I'm going to use that brush there. Big brush. When you're coming in, don't come in with a, a wet brush, come in with a brush with paint on. Okay. And all you're going to do is if you just flick up like that from the bottom, Is that a flat brush rather than a round This is end This is up? a flat brush. Um, you can use a flat brush and you can actually um, chip into it if you want oh, to. I can see. So this one um, has got little grooves cut into it. 
If you haven't got one that's got grooves, get a flat one and just chip into it with a pair of scissors. That's a lovely tip as well. Look how that, that looks so good, doesn't it? So you Christmas can do tree. feathers in a similar, uh, Absolutely. With a similar yeah. technique. Just, but you must um, get it nice and wet yeah. and go right around the edge that you're working on yeah. again. So we'll just do a quick round one. Okay. I just did that one yesterday, just with a little bit of um, oh, look. a few balls oh, that is so on it there. Cute. So it's quite oh, cute. I love it. So oh. we'll do one of those just really quickly. So you come in with your normal paint. You see, I can't cope with bendy brushes. <laughs> bendy brushes are not for me. But Jill, I've loved this show because, well, I knew I was going to love it, but just watching your techniques, I think it would have, will have taken away the fear for a lot of people because when we see your artwork, we think, there's no way I could do that. No yeah, way but that's what I'm it. saying. My teacher told me, my art teacher told me not to bother. She Are you said, another just, one of those that was told that? Yeah, she just said, give up. You're, just, you're pointless. Just, you know, give up. And I thought, well, no, I'm not painting to keep you happy. I'm painting to keep me happy. So true. So, around the edge, extra paint. It works if you're doing little critters as well. So, you see, you do little emus and things. It works oh, fluffy bit. Oh, furry critters. Works for critters, yeah. Yeah, wow. So come in with your brush that you've chipped into, a bit of paint on it. But you can see the quality of the paper so easily, Jill, because you are absolutely saturating with water and paint. You're going in layer after layer. You can you come you back and back and back to it. So all you're going to do now is just go around the edge where you've got all that excess paint. If anybody's into Star Wars, you can do tribbles. Yeah. So now you've got things. a lovely hanging ball. <laughs> as easy as that. that One thing, can I just show you something easy. really, really quickly? Uh, you, can't, you keep going, Jill. Yeah. You keep if, going until I tell you we're, we're <laughs> off air. If I'll you just talk over if I need to give any details, but we want to watch as much as we can. If you put something on there and you've made a big mistake, okay. it will just lift off. Ah. So if you put a bit more water on yeah. it. As long as you don't scrub really hard. So I'm quite gentle on the surface. Yeah. I haven't got any paper towel, which I should have. Look at that. That's amazing how that's come out. So you see how much you can get off there. I'm, and my water's I'm a bit mucky as well now. about the puppy pads, you know. I like that idea. <laughs> my water's getting a bit mucky now, but you can see, if you just keep going into that without scrubbing it hard... And then you can get 99% of that paint off there. That's amazing. So it, it, you can work on it and work on it and play yeah. with it and bring it back to life. Oh, and all Jill, we did so with that talented. one there is it's just the ball with some baubles on. So and that's that grey paper that that's we've got in some of the, the books yeah, as well. Yeah, you only get two sheets for some bizarre reason, but it, do, it just works really nicely. It does, doesn't it? Oh, and I love the splatters again. I just adore splatters and everything. <laughs> right, let's just give you a final recap. Please make sure you check these bas baskets out as well, because when the stock has gone, it's gone. We've sold out of so many different items. The one that Jill was working on in the first demonstration, but it could be any, anything, because you can tear this down to whatever size you wish. £22.99, brand new today, 227483. You do get the drawing pen as well. These are 100% cotton, don't forget. You can throw all sorts of things. You've seen how much water that's going to take, how many layers of paint. Your acrylics will work on there as well. Your brush markers. Just try all sorts of different uh, textures and surfaces onto these papers. You will be amazed what they will take. Then, of course, we have got, oh, the hardback as well. We did sell out of the smaller one. This is now limited stock. You need to be quick. Jill is back again at 11, but it's a different focus for 11 o'clock, so you may not get reminded about this, and we do make sales in between the hours as well. 33.95, but Freedom members are saving for you. The price will come down and delivered for 30 pounds and 56 pence. 246, 334, 24 pages. These are huge as well, absolutely huge. And remember, you can paint on both sides. You've seen how much water these will take and the vivid colours, and it doesn't even bleed through. Amazing, uh, amazing quality and amazing weight on that one as well. 320. Jill, we're back together at 11, and we've got we some are. gorgeous fabrics. Oh, we coming we've up. got. Um, traditional Japanese obi fabric and it's all antique 
So we've got bags and things it. in various things, but the Orbi fabric is just to die for. I'm just doing you a little Christmas card while I'm sat here. Oh, are you, Jill? It's going to stay all year, I promise. I won't put it away. I'll make you a nice right. one. Oh, then. the hardback's just gone. Do you know, we've still got a few bits left. Don't miss out on these. I'm being counted out. Now, Jill, can't wait for 11 o'clock. Do join us then. See you soon. Bye bye. Oh, what a lovely, talented lady. I want to go and make my Christmas cards now. Dolly Dimple's coming up next, another lovely lady. Jewelry box to follow, and then hopefully John next door's going to be with us. Hi, I'm Alice from Alice Stitchy Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on Agenda. heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, luscious and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please 
Join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. A very good morning to you. I hope you are well. It's great to have you company this morning. And it's lovely to be with Charmaine. Oh How are you, Charmaine? Good morning. I'm fine, thank you. Little much. Miss Dolly Dimples herself. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been told, yes, I keep getting called Dolly, so I think I'll stick with her. <laughs> is Dolly Dim are you Dolly Dimples? Is Dolly Dimples you? Dolly Dimples is a character, yeah. and because obviously it's Dolly Dimples, and I'm the face. <laughs> <laughs> Which you cute little dimples as well. Dimples. Like yeah. I am. They're here, they're lower, they're everywhere. <laughs> but you know, hey ho, I've kind of inherited the uh, the Dolly Dimples yeah. name, so I get called Dolly, I get Aww. called Dimples. I mean, I got called Dimples as a kid, Aww. but it was it was Dolly Dimples, you know. Basically, it's simple. Yeah. Do you know? Oh, no. <laughs> it relates I, to me. Dizzy I, and simple. <laughs> I love the name. And loving the hair, by the way, Charmaine. Oh, why, thank you. I Very love nice. Lynette because we work together. Yes. Um, she's allowed in my bubble to, to bubble my hair. To bubble your hair. <laughs> so up. I have it all whopped off. <laughs> well, we love it. We love it. It's great thank to you. have your company. And you're looking colourful, and I know the demonstrations are going to be colourful as well. Let's talk about the one-day special. Over half the stock has gone. These are absolutely delightful because you can embellish these into your designs for your cards maybe home decor use them on fabric make and create patterns with them use the whole complete set use just one of the boots in there just use part of the boot as well because you can use your masking techniques to do so but the drawings that we've got here are absolutely gorgeous. I love these. Lovely and whimsical. And it gives you a chance to really get to grips with your colouring as well. £29.96. You're saving £14 on this one day special and that's why we've been very very busy i've got lots of samples here uh show you a few of these from the design team they are absolutely stunning what the design team have done aren't they dolly well thank you that's one, that, one, dolly, that, that's one that i did last night is it <laughs> yeah well yeah. there you go so just mixing in the stencils in there as well so you've got two and some paper pieces so I think that's from the 8 o'clock show last night, that one. And you can watch that on Rewind if you want to. You can, of course, use papers on yeah. these. So that's paper piecing with previous um, kits that we've had on before, the 3D pages, and some adding some of the dolly flowers in there as well. From our lovely Sue, that one. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, you might have a favourite boot at home or boots similar to these, yeah. and you're decorating them up, or maybe you've always wanted to wear a boot like this. That I've always wanted to wear got, a boot like that. That's got butterflies in it, and I think they were from the previous set that I had yeah. on. Yes, the previous set on with the houses. So you can see that things mix together with each other as well. I love that. See all the different ways that you can use the stamps, not just for card making, but will make a fantastic front to a card because I think for any occasion. Yes, for, you know, boots are made for walking. That's right, and you can fill your boots, boots. <laughs> with your one day special. We're getting busy for this now. You're up early this morning and it is great to have your company. 519159 being your item number. Pop these into your basket or give us a call, of course. We'll take your order over the phone. You're saving £14. Remember, if you're a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay. And if you want to become a Freedom member, We've reduced the price. It's only five pounds and ninety-seven pence per month, and that means you can buy whatever you like and never pay PMP. It's a great idea leading up to Christmas. Let's have a look at the website. This is where you can see the stamps individually if you want them, ten ninety-nine each. But of course, the best value is in that collection of four. But we've got so much more for you on the show as well. If you love. The designs from Dolly Dimples, you're going to love perusing through the website and seeing all the different sets and stencils and decoupage kits. We've got some great card on the show and paper stock as well. Do take a look at that because if you're in the market for some A3 size paper, we've got that for you. If you're in the market for some true black cardstock, we've got that for you. And 
we've got some glitter card. It's encapsulated into the card, so it makes it perfect for die cutting, perfect for matte and layering, and perfect for using and not having to tidy up afterwards with all that glitter shedding everywhere. So do go and take a look at that. And also notice the five-star reviews. Goes without saying, we've got quality, top quality, when it comes to Dolly Dimples. Now, we have got a happy hour deal for you. It's better than half price. Absolutely love these. Good sizable stamps as well. Um, you've got 33 stamps in total. I'm just going to grab one of the A3 size uh, white card that we've got available just to place um, these stamps in front. So sometimes when you see the drawings on the front, um, it's a misconception because you don't realize how big they are. These are good, sizable stamps, they really are, and beautifully illustrated, so that you can colour these, you could also do some decoupage with your stamps. Beautiful designs with that whimsical world in mind. Really do like these. Let's turn that the other way for you. Um, there you go. Uh, so with the stamps that you've got, you've also got your worker stamps in each set. And you can see on the front cover of all the stamps in the front here how beautiful they are when they are coloured up. And you can jump again in the front. There you go. £34.93 is a happy hour deal. But just have a look above there in the yellow. That's how much you're saving. That's how much you're saving for this hour and this hour only. So if you like these and you're thinking, well, I might get them, I might not. And then perhaps nine o'clock today you go do you know what i'm going to go for those when you put them in your basket they're going to be 76 pounds and 93 pence at the moment and all the way up until nine o'clock today 34.93 that's an incredible deal it really is getting busy for these now don't miss out um what you could do with these buy them and separate them and give them as gifts for christmas and that's your christmas all sorted right we've got another happy hour deal for you i love these stamps these tell the story uh we've got some great characters for you you. This is Dolly Dimples. You've got four uh, town and friends at Christmas stamps. We've done shows with these before. Absolutely love these. You've got lots of stories that you can tell with your characters when you get these home and start to put them together. Use them separately. That could be a fantastic card on its own. You could change that into a regular house if you want to. You could take the cross off the top. It could be a shop. You could turn them into shop windows if you want to. Lots of different things that you can do with the stamps. In fact, if I just turn that around, you can see how you can change different parts of that if you want to. It doesn't have to be a winter scene. You could turn that into moss, maybe, on the top of the church because it's an old church, uh, which will look great. This is better than half price. It's a happy hour deal, 19.96. That's for all four, by the way, saving 24 pounds. So the same as before, if you're thinking about these and then come nine o'clock, you put these into your basket, you'll have missed this happy hour deal. You'll be paying 43.96. Take advantage of the happy hour deal, only 19.96 for all four stamps. I'm being told we're getting very, very busy for this. You've got that lovely unicorn in there as well. And you've got Father Christmas. I love that. Great stamps. Great set for you. 879401 is your item number. Now, we do have some stencils on the show. And I know that um, Charmaine will be demonstrating these or incorporating them in the demos. Um, um, stencils are great, aren't they? Because they encourage you to be experimental with your backgrounds. But they're also a staple for your backgrounds as well. Use these with your inks, your paints, and use them with your texture paste as well. Uh, £14. And 97 pence. Let's have a look at the first set that you can go for. Really like this. You've got your roses at the front. Love your. I'm going to call those squirrels. Although it's a maze, it's like a circle, but a. I think yeah, like I, a swirly swirly. Yeah, like a swirly squirrel. A yeah. squirrel, like a square, but yeah. a swirl. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a beautiful set of stencils for you. Excellent for using with your texture paste and your inks as well, aren't they, Charmaine? They are indeed. I've done some with them, um, some texture paste. And I know Lynette had a play with the texture paste as well. Love those. I'm really going to bring out details as well. Uh, using them uh, with your different colours, using them on your black card, using them with your white card as well. £14.97. That's your maize, your roses and your cosmic. Saving £9 on that deal. 551993. Right, the next set we've got for you. Um, again, it's a fantastic set of stencils. Use them with your inks, your texture paste. Fourteen ninety-seven again, saving that nine pounds. And these are your screw heads, your nails, your dots, dashes, and shards. Very industrial, I think, Charmaine. Yeah, one of my favourites is the dots and dashes. I just, I just keep. You know, we shouldn't have favourites. Yes, but we do. 
<laughs> we do. Not with kids, but you know, yeah. with uh, with the stencils, um, the dots and the dashes is, is definitely the one that I keep going back to over and over and over again. I love that. Love that. Um, I love also the um, the dashes and the shards. Yes, on this one, I love that. Do you know what I like about stencil, Charmaine? Is that you can use the whole of it as a background. Mm -hmm and then add to it, but you can also just use part of it. So if you just wanted to use one or two of these on a design, you've got it right there. Yeah, you, you can mask off areas or you can, it depends on what medium you're using, whether you're using a big brush, a little brush, yeah. a sponge, you can go in and highlight areas that you want. Yeah. I mean, you can just do what we did as kids and use pens. Yeah. No. You can also, with a stencil, I was um, experimenting, if you're mopping up, you know, if you've been using paint, whether it be watercolours or acrylic paint or anything like that, I've used a stencil to mop up and then put that on a card. And yeah, I've it, got a few there. Yeah, and it <laughs> yeah. makes such a great You've got pattern. background layers, haven't you? And then you can yeah. build up and build up and build yeah. up. So there's no waste and you get what you get. And sometimes these clean-up exercises yeah. create awesome backgrounds yeah. that you just could not achieve. You're right. And you can never reproduce exactly what you've done. Mm -hmm. So nobody else can either, yeah. so it's unique to you. Yeah, I love that. 443-554 uh, is your item number, £14.97. One more set of stencils for you. Um, again, we've got some great designs here. If you want to go for all the stencils, you're more than welcome to do so. And if you're adding things to your basket, if it comes to £60 or more, we'll divide the cost into two payments. I know what it's like. Sometimes you get carried away and start adding everything to your basket and then think, oh, my budget can't afford that this month. Well, we'll divide the cost into two payments if it's £60 or more. Uh, five, nine, uh, five, six, nine, Two, three, four is your item number, saving nine pounds on that particular deal for your enchanted circle. Cells and seeds. Like that one. That could be my favourite. That could be my favourite set. Uh, which is yours, though? Just simply put them into your basket and check on out. Uh, right, so we've got some uh, decoupage for you now. Let me just move that out of the way. Uh, you've got your fancy girls and friends here. So you've got 16 decoupage, uh, 16 A4 sheets. You've got card, you've got eight backing papers as well. You've got set one or set two. Very colourful as well. Let me show you um, <coughs> excuse me, some samples from here. Some great cards that you can make and decoupage up. Just makes a difference, doesn't it? Makes them stand out from the card when you decoupage, uh, which looks gorgeous. You can use your foam pads. And if you don't have any foam pads, then we've got some on the show or we've got some on the website. But um, something just a little bit different when it comes to card making. Or it could be... Um, something for the wall, maybe in a frame. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. With your sentiments at the bottom, just make something uh, a little bit different for yourself. So the kit, if I just pick this up, um, here we go. So you get your kit home and you've got your decoupage papers in here and you've got uh, kit number one or kit number two two a uh, fantastic way of decoupaging let me just place that down and flick through this one this is the one i wanted to show you because uh, this is what we mean by decoupage uh, if you're new you've got your image and you've got it in separate parts that you can cut out and start building and layering so all of that's done for you all of the colors are on there and you're all set to go got lots of images in there so that one is kit number two and we've also got kit number one as well same price Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Just two different options. Don't wreck the set, Janice. There you go. Let's pop that back in there. Uh, your choose. Uh, your choice. Uh, let me just show you this. This is a great sample. Uh, Charmaine showed me this a little earlier on. These may relate to certain people that you've seen here at Hochanda. They might relate to certain people that you know at home. They're great characters, and they could be your characters. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence, saving five pounds. 962-787 is your item number. Lots on the show for you to choose from. And if you can't choose, then, of course, shove them all in your basket. That's what I like to say, Charmaine. Shove them all in your basket. Yeah. And what we will do is divide the cost into two. Now, over a third of the stock of this particular set has gone. It's only 12 99 I'm thinking a Christmas gift for a crafty friend. I'm thinking a Christmas gift for someone that maybe hasn't started crafting yet. This could be their first... Dipping of their toes, do you like what I did there? Into the crafting world. So you've got your template, you can use that as many times as you like. And you've also got your decoupage kit uh, with your beautiful fab boots. And uh, again, decoupaging up, 
just turning out to the side you can see there you've got that fabulous boot very very colorful as well so eight decoupage sheets eight backing papers eight a4 sheets of card and you've got your template as well fantastic kit proving to be very busy if you do want it pop it into your basket eight two one four four three right i think we can go to charmaine now okay right first, well i'm going to finish something that i started last night so it was like three minutes left in the show and adam decided that i was going to work yes <laughs> <laughs> and he knew i thought he was just gonna talk the way through the last three minutes and <laughs> no he was having none of it so i'll quickly run through of what i did and where i got her okay and then i'll flip it if that makes sense well it will in a minute when i do it so i placed a boot on and did a bit of um, speed crafting to get to where i got her so i stamped the boot on and this is number two if you're going for individuals and uh, there's the boot missed a couple of widget bits but i'm not going to be too fussed about that because it could re-ink and stamp but i've got it on the other side so i'm going to go with it then i got um the stencil from set three so this is the roses and i placed that over the top i'm just going to leave leave it in i placed it over the top and check i've got the right sponge i haven't there we go and then I've taken um, seedless tongue twister again. Seedless preserves um, oxides, and as I can see roughly where the boot is, I aimed for obviously stenciling through and avoiding the boot area. It doesn't matter too much if I go on it, but you could mask off. I just it was need for speed, so I'm going to do it in exactly the same way as I did last night. So I went kind of around the boot. Yeah. If I remove that, and you can see avoiding oh. the boot area, and then if I jump over. You can see that I kind of carried on with that. Does that make sense? I love that rose background. Okay, me too. It's funky. Um, in fact, when we last had it on, because it's fairly new, um, it went really, really well. It was the most popular one. So that's as far as I've got. And I'm going to mix in um, one of the happy hour deals. If yes, that's all right. yes. You want to yeah, show? busy for the happy hour deals, actually. Which one are you going to use, Charmaine? Um, I will go with the flowers. The flowers. My word, almost half the stock of your happy hour is gone already. I it's a get fantastic easy. set, Charmaine. They are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. They go so well with so many different things. I love your style. I haven't got all of them here to play with, but I'm just going to mix in a few of them there. But you've got the whole set there, haven't you? Yeah, we've got the whole set here. I was just saying, I absolutely love your style. I really do. It's whimsical. It's it's fantasy land. It's just simply adorable. And I think very encouraging uh, for any would-be colourist out there. Having said that, you could just leave these black and white as well because you've got that lovely detail in all of the stamps. Very busy for the happy hour, £34.93. 381025 is your item number. This is the whole set, the whole set that you're getting. But uh, do remember that price will be going back up at 9 o'clock. Right, Charmaine? We do have two sets, Charmaine, so sorry to... No, go on that one. We have two sets. We have one to seven and then eight to 14 of the of the complete, complete collection so far. And they all mix and match with each other. But they're so cute, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they really are. And they've all got individual names and individual characters, which we have them on our website, the information about them. And um, they also have... And, and it's also on our Dolly Dimples Crafts Facebook page as well. I am just using from, from number one... Um, flower stamp the little tiny um, ladybirds or ladybugs whichever you like to call them and I just think that they work so well and it, this is just two elements I've used a flower um, sorry my stamps are well loved and well used and well dirty and um, I've used the butterfly and the little ladybird could just come slightly separate and this is magic button pod this one and you've also got some words with that Charmaine you've got and I choose you oh yeah we'll get some lovely. words in. and friends are like flowers you choose the ones that make you smile too true too true the ones that make you cry say goodbye <laughs> oh I like that <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, and the ones, the, <laughs> the ones that you water 
ought to buy you a drink first. Okay. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely. The drinks are on you tonight, Janice. Yay! <laughs> Just the pubs are closed, never mind. <laughs> oh, well, it's a coffee then at a socially respectable distance. Yes. <laughs> right, okay, so I've gone in with um, the little elements off of that. I've added those in, and now I'm going to sneak in one of the flowers as well. So this is number seven and we will just have that one popping in there so back to the press so this is um the stamp to impress i believe which i think you've got on the website yes and we certainly do do you find it easier to stamp with the stamping press well it's a funny tale because somebody said to me uh, what do you think of these stamp presses and i were like well do you have a problem with using acrylic block hands up no i didn't really okay. well yes occasionally yeah. We have these boo boo boos, um, and I've just I've got into using it now because if you do um, not ink something properly, you can go back in. Plus, if you want to like stamp precise all the way around and do techniques and things, it's great. So to be honest, it's just turned me into a bit of a lazy stamper. Well, I think they're good because I'm not very good at stamping, and I want to get into it more mm -hmm. because sometimes I'm a bit heavy-handed with the ink and sometimes I don't put enough on. Yeah. So you're quite right, if it's not stamped, if you've not put enough ink on, it's a great way to just go back and re-stamp it. Yeah, I mean sometimes we want things to be to look um, perfect and sometimes we're not too fussed about it looking perfect. So it, it, it just gives you an extra, plus if you've got problems with um, standing up and stamping because that's generally what i used to do yeah. stand up and yeah. stamp or dexterity problems yes that's the word i was looking for but i knew i was going to get it wrong wrist at the minute yeah. so pressing down would be really difficult mm -hmm. oops um the thing the thing that i do have to bear in mind is i've got a belly and i've got a bust so if my card is bigger I, I run with me on this when i am going somewhere um if my card is bigger in there and that's in front of me i have to move it that way because then it would move so i tend to use the corners to move it back if it's moved if i've knocked it with body parts because the device is absolutely fantastic yeah. it's human error that usually goofs up on it yeah if that right. makes sense so yeah, and i do a lot of human error so i'm just mixing in these two um little flowers in here i mean this would look quite cool if i kind of left the colours and didn't actually do any colouring in. With 60% of the stock gone, that, Charmaine? I'm going six, fast. I'm going fast. <laughs> no, 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 don't fast. get any faster. <laughs> Go fast. uh, just let people at home know, if you have just joined us, great to have you company. We've got a gorgeous Charmaine with us, Dolly Dimples, one day special. But this is your happy hour. And the happy hour, well, the prices do go back up. I don't think it's going to last until half past the hour. Uh, very, very busy for that. Did we say 60% of the stock has 60% of the stock has gone? Can I just show the other happy hour, um, Charmaine? Yeah, is that all yep, right? Yeah, go for it. Um, look unconscious stuff. people waking up and heading towards us this morning, uh, joining us at all different times. So great to have your company. This is also a lovely, lovely set of stamps. And it's a happy hour. That price will be going back up at nine o'clock. Only nineteen ninety-six. This is a great deal. They are gorgeous. They really are. And these are going to enable you to make and create some fantastic cards from fantastic pages for your memory book. Maybe a little puppet theatre as well. Um, don't forget you can use these stamps with your fabric inks as well, making the most adorable patterns on fabric. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that horse there. Now, if you were to stand that horse and colour it black and put a little bit of white bit on its nose, that could be Roger, our Katie's horse, who's our producer today. Uh, right, let's head back to Charmaine. Sorry about that, Charmaine. Just no, 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 problem. People. It's one we're of very those things. Busy. It's only for the hour. Get them while the price is around. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Or the price isn't that a TV programme? Okay. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Get them while the price is around. Yeah, get them while the price is Come on right. down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, on my website and on the website here, the, they're ten ninety nine each, so it's a really good buy. Yeah. And as you can see, with the with, uh, majority of those in there, the church could be used as, as christening. Yeah. The, uh, you can put moss on the roof instead of snow. Yeah, definitely. And the, um, the mouse is a mouse. Yeah. You know? So it can be it can be used at any time of year. So it doesn't have to be um, Christmas as well. The unicorn is a unicorn from Magical Land. Or it could be a horse. Could you take the, yeah, take the horn, the horn off. off? Yeah, less horn. Certainly More be horse. a horse. And the horse is a horse, of course. Yes. And what's a horse with a hat? 
a horse with a hat. It's a horse with a hat, <laughs> of <Yeah>. course. <laughs> so all I've done is I've gone back in and added um, a little bit more of the roses in there, just to add a second colour. Put the lid on that, put that back, or else some people like cry when I leave ink um, on the top. So I've added a little bit more to that, gone a little bit crazy on the colours there. And now I am going to add some colour to it. So what we're going to use, Janice, I, I think... Um. I, and what colour lines? Yes, I think I'm either going to use the Eco lines or the Brazil. Uh, Are you going to go for a similar tone? Yes, I think so. Hmm. What do you think? You colouring in the boot? Yep, boot Ooh. and flowers. What do you think? Make it pop? Yep. Go with the boot first and go yep. bright pink because I just yep. I just love bright pink. So here we go. Get the flowers done first before they disappear. And um, the flowers are limited stock, Charmaine. Fast, fast, fast. So I've so scribbled some on my um, 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 on the glass mat, yep. and I picked it up with the um, blender pen. And now I'm going to start the top bit, which would be the darkest. I'm thinking, and pull the colour down to the bottom like so. And then I'm going to pick a little bit up and just add a little bit down the bottom there and around like so and then i'm going to go in with the same pick it up strong again start in the center and work it swooping out the way and that is the fastest coloring information do you know something <laughs> i thought you were actually coloring in the boot it's the flower <laughs> oh yeah you can't see properly I thought from the there. bit Sorry. that you were coloring in there was the was the boot no that's a, yeah that boot's got the same sort of motion yeah. as well you know when you're doing the um what's the hand memory motion yes it's the same sort of curve in there so that is really fast coloring information i mean oh, whoop, i'm well, well impressed done. you know here we go are you self-taught colourist? Did you study it at college, school, university or...? I did A-level art. Did you? Yeah, and I used to um, do a lot of teaching as well. But I don't do what I was taught. No. I do what I can teach anybody. Yeah. And if I can teach kids and older adults, yes. I'll stick with that. Yeah. So I don't do... Obviously, when I'm doing my own artwork, yeah. different. Yeah. But when I'm doing things like this and, and stamped images, somebody who's a expert artist mm. doesn't tend to use stamps a lot. Yeah. You know, you, you draw your own pieces yeah. and things. So, you know, if somebody wants a, an expert class, do Matthew Palmer's classes. Yes. Yeah. You know, and he yeah. teaches very um, simple processes yeah. to up to experts yes. and there's lots more as yeah. well people out there so um no i just i do simple processes but i love that i learn so much from you I, I, I stand here and i watch you you guys are sitting there at home i was thinking about you but all i'm it's terrible because i've got the rest of the day to work but all i want to do is just go <laughs> over and do some coloring or you know go, go off and just do some coloring because you, you're very inspiring it's when we get to thank you janice when we get to the end of the day and i'm ready to pack up and go home that's when i really want to play yeah because one hour sat down playing is is not enough for me no. and you know that normally i'm really really slow at coloring in and i get my pencils out which takes me longer and i go back over things and back over things and then i walk away i'll have a coffee and i'll come back and think oh yeah that's not too bad but yeah. sitting here if i get my face down yeah. here and it's looking at it and i'm coloring away and coloring away i'm seeing things totally different to yeah. when i look back at, at things and, and look at it and think yeah that's okay i'm happy with it leave it alone charmaine i always have like a half hour rule i'll sit there for half an hour whatever i'm doing and then i have to get up even just go and get a glass of water because you come back with fresh eyes now we yeah. are technically sold out <coughs> of the happy Excuse hour me. deal so well done everyone <coughs> for getting hold of that before we sold out it's not a competition of course when i say well done uh it's just the fact that we've now sold out but we do have another happy hour deal and you can still get this um i don't think is that the one is that another one that's not the one i was showing earlier on um because i don't think that includes does that include the no it no. doesn't because we've got the mouse, we've got the church, we've got the unicorn, and we've got Father Christmas. So the images in that, um, ah, so the one we've got out is incorrect. That's the happy hour. We're going to double check that. We're going to triple check that, quadruple check that. Our Jack's on it, floor manager of the day, extraordinaire. 
If anyone can get on it, our Jack can get on it. And that's not just because he's got long legs. I thought you were um, teasing with another one there. He's, yeah, he's, he's going to check that out for you. So we'll double check that, but there is a, another happy hour deal. But we're going to check the actual contents of that. But they're whimsical, they're lovely, they're gorgeous. And it's all part of that Christmas town story. But let's head back to Charmaine. As soon as we find out, we'll let you guys know. Right, okay, so where did I put my other pens? I think, oh yeah, I'm going to go with um, blue now. So I'm just going to scribble a little bit on with blue. And again, like the eco lines are a water-based product, so they're working like a watercolour. So I'm just going to check on my piece of paper here that my pen's run clear again. And I'm going to pick up some blue and I'm just going to pull that down the centre where the stitching is. And yeah. again, down the centre where the stitching is and then across where the top of the boot and I'm going to loop this so this is going to be my darker colour and then I'm going to add the same again in the centre of the boot like so. So now that that's done with what's on the pen I can then just blend that out. I might need to pick up some more. Yeah just a fraction more. Are these all based on boots you've had? Oh, I have got I have got some fabulous boots. But You've got no. some fabulous shoes. You always wear fabulous shoes. I do have some absolutely awesome ones do with you? heels, but uh, I just can't wear them at the moment. A little bit too weight on the uh, old ankles. Yeah, you've got to yeah. be careful. And the you? fact that I fell down the stairs doesn't help. Yes, how are you? Are you okay? <laughs> Fine. I'm... Not any steps here, though. Uh, no. We've got any steps here at Hochanda Towers. Oh, we do. Oh, yeah, the upstairs ones, yes. haven't we? So. I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to rinse and repeat what I'm doing here yeah. and then move up to the base. So if you want to recap where I just carry on the process. Uh, yes, we can take a look at the one day special. Um, so the one day special is available to you at a great saving. A one day special is launched here at Hochanda every 6 p.m. And we have live shows today now of course uh, another one at 12 and another one at four four stamp sets in that collection 519159 is your item number 29 pounds and 96 pence uh, just to show you them stamped out we've got the outlines just here and I love them I love the stitchy detail in here I love the fact that you've got your lace you've got little bits on here like the heel in this one is that little toadstool. Isn't that amazing? So take a look at these stamps before you start to colour them in and have a look at what you can do with them. Have a look at all the extra detail that's in them that you can highlight as well. And then from there, you can think about your projects. Again, don't just think about card making. Look at this, a fantastic bag here. Uh, print them onto bags, uh, print them onto fabric, maybe stitch onto them as well. How about a mini book that's stitched with those stamps on there or the other stamps we've got for you on the show so you can make and create a gorgeous little stitched pocket. Um, this is a lovely sample here. Let me pick this one up because this is using card. Stitchy detail on the outside which is going to correspond with the boots on the inside. But you see how different they are? The different colours that you can use and the different patterns as well. It makes them unique and different and individual each and every time you start to colour them in. You can make them grungy, you can make them vintage, Victorian, you can make them modern, you can even make them kinky if you want to, like kinky boots. Uh, 519159 your item number, saving £14, £29, 96 pence. Uh, busy though for that set of four. We do have some wonderful cards for you as well. You you might want to pop this into your basket because it's all about getting the right products to start stamping on instantly so it's going to give you the right results now this is um, 300 GSM you get 50 A4 sheets it's cream card as well so it's that lovely off-white and I know that Charmaine works with that don't you Charmaine now is the cream card and I've noticed that about your designs and about your decoupage papers and I love that I love the fact that it's not pure white that yeah. it's the cream it's got that warm undertone to it yeah and all the papers are done on the cream so they all match or they start yeah. off with a cream base and they all match with each other nicely obviously when i'm using stamps a lot i might tend to go for the white look if i want yeah. but i do tend to swear back to that cream yeah. all the time but it's you know preference yeah of course horses for courses mm -hmm. uh whatever whatever boots fit you no, that's kind of an analogy. <laughs> uh, right, we do have some black card for you, and it is uh, a true black card, which is fantastic. Um, and if we tear into this, it's going to be black all the way through, which is great when you're die cutting, of course. 